Like some arcane ritual, I spotted this goose standing on one leg, stoically pruning itself. This odd behavior is a technique used by waterfowl to minimize heat loss as they come in contact with the cold water. Some birds would rather not be bothered with that whole mess sticking to the branches where it's relatively warmer, though this little guy still isn't completely out of the wind. Small mammals also have to hunker down during the cold winter weather Though some, like these gray squirrels, are forced to leave their nest for an admittedly bountiful supply of food. Unlucky seeds and squirrels weren't the only thing I spotted on the forest floor. As usual, I decided to explore the microscopic world of moss. Melting snow creates a thin film of water for creatures to slide around this slimy environment though I didn't see too many this time. Dissatisfied, I expanded my search to this ice-covered, leaf-choked pond. Perhaps it was simply too cold because I barely spotted any plankton swimming around. What I did see were plenty of fungal hyphae and spore-forming structures. Perhaps with fewer creatures to compete with, this fungus was free to breed unchecked, forming huge forests of rotting leaf litter. I know I personally wouldn't drink from this water. On that note, that's all for this week. Check out my YouTube or Instagram if you want to see more of my wildlife work. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week.